Hey, this is Willard Crafto, and I have three packages right here, all of which contain fire alarms. So, let's unbox them, all three. So we'll start with this box right here. Of course, I have all the addresses and stuff blocked out. And this one here is a very rare pull station. So I'll unbox this. As you can see, I'll get that out of the way. And here it is. Let me go get my B key. Hold on. Alrighty, I've got my B key. Now this may look like just another simplex T-bar. And it is. It's a T-bar. But, it's a special T-bar. This may look to you like a 4251-20. However, it is not. It's a very special T-bar. See that? It's a key switch. This is actually, come on, okay, got to get that last problem out of the way, but look, where do you see the model number of this? 2099, yeah, 2099, this is a very early 2099. And it's in extremely good condition. And there's that key switch. And as you see, terminals three and four are used on here. Because it has that key switch. And as you can see, the handle's kind of like bumpy here. I'm going to go get a 4251. Hold on. Alrighty, I've got a 4251-20. Now, this one is first generation, and it has like the filled-in style handle. And notice the key turns on here to the right. On here, first of all, it has the um, open style handle, if you will, and a different looking lock as well. The lock is different. And... Um, $20.99. There's that key switch. It's ULC listed and you, probably just regular UL too. Ooh. This is ULC listed. This is Canadian. A Canadian Simplex T-Bar. And that takes an A key. So yeah, that's that pull station. There's the back. And yeah, there's a 4251-20 for comparison. The one on the right is a 4251-20. So yeah, they do both use a B key though. So, moving these out of the way, there's the 4251, or the 2099, excuse me. I'll move that over to here. Um, let's see. Um, and this one, this is kind of a bubble mailer. And we've got a white box. With something in it. It's from Too Many Amps. Somebody called Too Many Amps. All these I bought on eBay. Um, and this is actually really cool. Bam! A white AS. Yes, it is a white Wheelock AS. Even though it may not look, or it 
definitely looks white. You can definitely see it's white. Um, it is fixed candela, 110 candela, as you can see right there. It's 110 candela. 1997, this thing was made. So it's pretty old. Um, there's the strobe. And yeah, it's an AF. Um, and this AS is brand spanking new. So I'm gonna, how do you put the mounting plate on here? Um, like this maybe? How do you put that on? Okay, oh, 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 I think I got it. Uh. Hello, I want to put them out. Oh, duh. Total derp moment. Right there. Brand new white AS. You get some screws. I get a white screw for mounting it, as you can see. And a manual. And another manual. So that's really awesome. Hey, we like AS. Um, the full model number of it is, hold on. I think AS 24110W. Right there. There's the AS. Finally, I've got another package. Three packages in one day. It's a triple unboxing. Ooh, ah, it's BG-10, yes. Notify a BGX-101L. Yay, it has a key lock. A whole lot better. Does it use the notifier key? Yes, it does. Um, here's the back. It's addressable. And here's here's the front. Just push in and pull down. And to reset it, just like go like this. It's really easy to reset, like. Like that. And I'll open it up so you can see it. Notifier BGX 101L. It's addressable. I am going to convert this to an NBG10L. All I really have to do is cut these red and black wires and take these and put them there. Yeah, this is a little bit harder to pull. Oh, oh. There's a screw in it. Cool. Oh, okay. So, again, you just pull it. And then to reset it, you put the key in. And do like that. One more time from the side. A lot of people have the L model. And I have the L now. I'm going to convert this to an NBG10L. So I'm getting a simplex key switch, like a key test switch. Um, with an A key, because that, that uses an A key. And 
Um, I got I'll throw all this crap away later. Um, um, there's that. Don't do that. Okay. That a random screw. So let's go over what I got. A Notifier BGX 101L, right there. Pull it. Oh, stick the key in. Like that. We have the Simplex 2099, 9905. Oh, and the Wheelock AS. And I gotta see what the model number of this is. It's killing me not to know. Ah. Come on, mounting plate. I don't want to break it. I'm trying to get the thing off without breaking it. There we go. Um, it's um, an AS24110W. Right there. I'm very happy to finally have an AS. Um, it, that's the, to determine code 3, high, medium, or low volume. There's low volume. Okay, I have it set on code 3, low volume. So now, um, ooh, wrong way. Okay. Now then, I'm going to set it, or I'm going to... Um, well, it sounds exactly like the MT. You know what these sound like. I sounded off in a different video. But anyways, yeah. That is the three alarms that I got today. And the reason why I got a white AS is because, um, my white alarms to red alarms ratio is red, white, so I'm trying to even it out. And white ASs are extremely rare. I've never seen a white, well I've seen like one before, but other than that I've never seen a white AS before. So I have a very rare white AS. So yeah, um, those are the three things I got in the mail today.